Yes, indeed. Welcome to Grand Buff Buffet Life. I'm saying these is all the things that we need here to make this here homemade lasagna, which is the first time I made on my channel. So you feel me? You feel me? Yes, indeed. You stay tuned in and see what it do. Step one, you want to get this ground beef. You want to put it in this pot. As you can see, the pot has been doing a lot of working, but it's definitely going to get the job done. Two, you like to have all your seasonings ready. That way, once you put the meat in, you can get the job done. Now, as you can see, you got that cooking good. You know what I'm saying? Or whatnot. And you dig what I'm talking about? Now, as you can see, I just added Italian sausages. Just one. It was only one left. You know, the rest been eating good for breakfast and things like that. But you can always put Italian sausages or whatever other meat that you would like to add with your ground beef. The flavors of sauce or whatever, you understand? Flavor. Now, in this here is the important look that you want to see. Everything properly grounded right. So that way it can mix good. You can get both flavors in one without, you understand, tasting different things. But, you know, unevenly and stuff. Cooking good now. I'm going to flip this over plenty of times. Get it right. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to... You know, go to the next step. You dig? Letting some of that sauce marinate in there, you feel me? And then I'm about to drain this and get it right. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Still steamingly and everything. Oh, Lord. Now you want to rinse off the baby spinach and get it prepared to go into the pot after you put the sauce. Now what I'm going to do is add the sauce. Let's add this sauce so you can see the flick of the wrist. You dig? Yes, indeed, me peoples. Put a little water in here. Now put a little water, shake it up, and then add it to the sauce with the meat. And you know what I'm saying basically gonna go to the next steps. Now that I got a little sauce at the top, I'm gonna add the spinach. Meanwhile, you know what I'm talking about. You wanna mix this well. You want it to drench the spinach. That way it can look like spinach. You know what I'm saying? You know how you get the spinach in all them type of containers with the spinach dips and things. You gotta, you know what I'm saying, get it real drenched and all that good stuff do it man you know don't get me wrong my folks my auntie coached me a little bit of what how she wanted it done and i'm just doing the rest you know what i'm talking about family affair man you know what i'm saying family that prays together stays together i added the cottage cheese you know what i mean i already did a flick of the wrist you know what i'm saying let that simmer real quick and clean as i go you dig what i'm talking about Okay, if you're moving fast, you can put some sauce like that. You know what I'm saying? Just some righteous, you know what I mean? Oh, some cool. Yeah, man. But, um, you know, when you got your bottle, don't forget to use the sauce sometimes for the bottom. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do the layers right now. Okay, now what you want to do is layer it. You know, you got the bacon ready already. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to layer this time without the cheese. And then I'm going to layer it with the cheese. A bite can layer different, you know. And things work really good. Yes, indeed. Do too much working. Yes, indeed, me people's bear with me. You know, this is my first time making lasagna in a long time. You feel me? You know, this ain't really my favorite go-to. You know, I prefer, you know what I'm saying, enchiladas. So, you know, basically, you know, I already got the skills of doing so. But I'm just going to tell you like that. This is my first time actually doing this. Actually from scratch. And just really feeling the vibe of doing it and wanting it to come out correctly, fine, and things like that. So, I mean, tell me what you guys think. Write in the comments. Subscribe and stay tuned in. So, listen here, fellas. Basically, as you putting all the meat on here, what you want to do, you want it to be right. Like, you feel me? You put up a little hole in the house for your woman. You don't want to see no real white spots or whatnot. If you just see one little tiny one or whatnot that ain't too bad but overall you want to make sure you feel me you got it righteous you got a lot of meat that way when everything is good and being getting cooked you know it could just melt all them little things and just be on point you dig as you can see i'm putting another layer when i put this layer here then i'm gonna put the cheese and start getting it cheesy you know what i'm saying or whatnot you feel me that way you know what i'm saying i could just throw this bad boy in the oven by the time I throw it in the oven, everything going to be on point. It's going to be cooked right. And it's going to be scrumptious. Yes, indeed, me peoples. 
by the way this here pan that I'm making is going to be able to feed about five to six people depending on how they double back for seconds but overall to get the job done if you got a bigger family you know I advise you to make two ground beefs and um just probably do do two layers or make it very big with a bigger container and different things like that that way you know the meat could be spread it out you know and everything be on point and it's enough to feed all your family you dig me people so that's what it is but i'm about to get this cheese and put it on top once again when you put the cheese on top you want to be able to make sure you don't see no type of meat you want to make sure the cheese is spread over everything perfectly fine that way when it melt you know what i'm saying it do not have no open spots you feel me it be cheese everywhere when you get a bite you know what i'm saying it could taste either extra cheese or it could just taste right with just cheese alone you feel me yeah you know i'm saying but hey man you know as y'all can see everything looking on point you know what i'm saying it's all about ready to go in the oven in a minute you know what I'm saying? I'm going to get some more right. You know what I'm saying? With this. Oh, look at that, bang. Mm-mm-mm. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, me, people. I did my thing. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm about to put this here in the oven for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes to my liking. And then, you know, I'm just going to basically try it out and see if it's good. Now that the foil is on there... I was ready to throw in an oven. Indeed. As you can see, I put things in the correct, you know, containers. A little chicken. A little salad. Now it's about time to check to see how everything come along. Ooh, look at that extra cheesy sticking to the foil. Man, look at that, man. Looking like some enchiladas, though, but you know, it's some good old lasagna. Yes, indeed, me peoples. Oh, Lord. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, indeed, it's all she wrote. This here is the finished touch. It was cooked properly, nice and cheesy. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to get this here plate ready. All the chicken is done. Look at that. Look just right. Oh, scrumptious. Got this nice good old salad over here, you feel me? And now, finally made my nice little cool plate. You know what I'm saying? Got my little drink over here, you feel me? Chilling, you know what I'm saying, or whatnot. And I'm about to throw down and see what it really actually do. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed. This the aftermath, man. Yeah, man. Thank God my people's did add a little bit more seasoning. You know me, I would have been too light on it, but you know. It gave it more flavor. It was just righteous. You did. Yes, it did, man. Scrumptious. So I was rich then, but you ain't even know it like Rocco. We don't keep score, we just keep on scoring.